Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an unboxing video for you guys from Colourpop Cosmetics. This is the second time that I ordered from them and I just wanted to show you guys products that I love and how I use them and also I wanted to tell you more in a little bit of details like how the shadows work because they can be a little tricky when you first start using them because they have a velvety texture to them even if they're a matte shadow they can be kind of tricky to use on the eyes and you could get very intimidated by them so I just wanted to tell you exactly what the texture is and how to use them what's the best way to use them and all that good stuff so I ordered about 10 shadows and um, a lipstick one of the ultra matte lipsticks I um, also have some highlighters that I ordered last time I only found three but I'm pretty sure I have like five of them because I went a little crazy with them. They looked so beautiful when they were swatched, but honestly, I did not know how to work them. I got the color Wisp. Also got Soul the Show and Beautif Beautifly Butterfly Beach Beautifly Butterfly Beach. <laughs> so yeah, I got these three right now. I know I have two more or about like three more, but I couldn't find them like I said before. Um, yeah, they're pretty tricky to work with because. If you look at them, they're kind of like a cream texture. They have like a cream texture to them. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's pretty weird to like apply this on your skin. I feel like they sit on the skin more than blend on. Like you can't put this on with a brush because it would not apply correctly. And if you try, I tried it with a beauty blender as well. That's the way you could use it, but it still didn't work out for me. So I just use them as shadows because the shadows are really small. So I use this as a base, which is double the size. So yeah. The first shadow that I have here is Ibiza. And this shadow is like a very beautiful turquoise blue. It has some cool stuff going on in there. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a turquoise blue and I wanted to get this shadow just because I really don't experiment much with with like blues and right now I have like a blue look going on because I just wanted to try the shadows out and I don't know I feel kind of weird in it but I guess it's getting out of my comfort zone so yeah so I wanted to get like a couple of blues just to like experiment this is the first blue that I got and this was in the shade Ibiza got another blue and this is the one that I woo whoa sorry about that so this is another blue that I got, and, and this is the one that I used today on my eyelids. And this one is in the shade Coconut. This is a very popular shade. Um, I believe like a month ago it was actually sold out in their page. So once I got my hands on it, I was like, yes! I also saw Emily use this in one of her looks like a very long time ago, and it looked beautiful. So I just wanted to go ahead and try it out. This blue is kind of more of a dark blue with um also with like silver glitters peeking through but this is more on the dark blue side this one is like a dark dark blue like it's like maybe like a navy blue and it's really dark it's almost black and it has like glitters peeking through as well and this one is in the shade rex rex shade is get lucky and this one is kind of like a bronze gold kind of shade which I really like because it is perfect for fall and also for summer if it lasts me all summer because I feel like I'm going to be using this shade a lot so this shade is on the rocks so this one is called central perk and I wanted to get this shade specifically because in the fall we use a lot of burgundies and dark colors and stuff like that so I wanted to get this shade this is a matte shade this has no glitters whatsoever and um this is a very pretty shade for now for fall and even winter because it's like a really matte burgundy but like I said before the texture of these shadows are very like velvety they're they kind of feel like they're almost wet all the time so it can be a little bit intimidating once you start working with it like if you're going to place it on your crease instead of like all over your lid to create like a burgundy smoky eye then it's can get kind of intimidating when you're trying to place this on your crease because you have to really blend the shadow out since it is a velvety texture instead of a powdery texture so 
keep that in mind. Um, the next shade is Girly, and this is kind of like pure champagne. Like, this is the way I can describe this. It's pure champagne, like once you see a bottle of champagne or champagne poured, it's the same exact color. Here I have Mooning, and Mooning is also a very, very interesting shade. It's kind of like a burgundy, but with um, gold peeking through it, like gold glitters peeking through. But it's also like a burgundy, but then it's also like a brown. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, they're very creative with their colors, and I absolutely love that about ColourPop. Like how creative can you get with a brown and a burgundy like you can get creative apparently like this shadow is like everything i can't wait to use this shadow the shadow will go like great on your lids since it does have glitters i would not recommend using it as a crease color so this will go perfect on your lids and it's a very beautiful shade like i said of like brown burgundy and gold sparkles mixed together peeking through Next shade is a very, very popular one. This one is in Tassel, and I know you guys hear Rose mention this a lot. This is the only reason why I got this shadow, because she loves to use this as her um, tear duct highlight. And it's a very good shadow for that, because it's very white, very sparkly, and I feel like it goes amazing with any eye look. So this is the reason why I got it. I got it because of her. And um, if you're looking for a good like inner corner highlight eyeshadow, this one would be like the bomb.com for you. But not least, I have Hammered. Next, I got the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy in Limbo. And the reason why I got this lipstick is because I wanted to recreate Kylie Jenner's look with like the brown lips and like the gold lids. So I wanted to recreate that look and I am going to recreate that look and have that up for you guys next week. So stay tuned for that. I also will be having a DIY to the shirt she was wearing that day which is like a black with ripped down holes shirt kind of going on thing. So yeah, stay tuned for that. This is in the color Limbo once again and brown shade like... It's super brown, and I actually really like that. Like, I never thought I would wear brown on my lips. Like, who wears brown on their lips? Like, hello. But Kylie Jenner just has everybody wearing brown on their lips, and it's pretty damn awesome. So, yeah. That completes the whole unboxing video for ColourPop. I just got ten shadows and one lipstick this time. Last time I got, like, five. Pick it up. Done. I'm done. I just need to film like a little bit more. Hello? Hello? Oh my God. Hey, yes. I didn't know. Of. Nope. Why? Is it, was it with FedEx or UPS? No, because you only tell the FedEx truck outside, but the nigga never came in. So I don't know if they come tomorrow, but there's nothing here today. Okay, it's not here. They haven't left any notice, nothing. Okay guys, so that completes the unboxing video with ColourPop. I hope you guys enjoyed it and also if you like these type of videos, let me know in the comments down below. I rarely do these. This is like my first video like unboxing or whatever the case may be, but they're my favorite videos to watch. I absolutely love them because it's kind of like you're just chilled back talking to you guys about makeup and about stuff that you got in the mail. So it's pretty cool. And they're really fun to watch for me and like relaxing. So I like these kind of videos. If you want me to do more videos like these, I can definitely do them. I have a whole tons of things that are like in boxes and I haven't like <laughs> taken them out yet. So if you guys want me to do more videos like this, then just let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.